Because it has a pump, the Air Crate Helitanker may be able to suck up an unsuspecting scuba diver and drop him into a forest fire, as per the myth. Adam and Jamie have built a pump and are about to test it out on Buster. We're at one of our regular testing facilities in Senal High School out in Alameda has allowed us to use their pool before uh, and we've dunked some things in it and done some tests and we're about to do another one. We're about to pump 3,000 gallons a minute out of this pool hey, actually. Come on forward. Go ahead and lower it down. Outboard motor expert Jay is drafted onto the Mythbusters team. Finally, it's time for a full-scale test run. The pump is lowered into position. The rig works, and Adam's thrilled. Believe it or not, the Mythbusters are putting this underwater myth to the test. The Ericsson Air Crane Helitanker can suck up 2,000 gallons of water in 45 seconds. The Mythbusters homemade outboard motor pump must be able to replicate those figures by filling this 2,000 gallon tank in 45 seconds. Based on what we've seen so far, it's pretty promising that we'll fill the tank in the required time, in 45 seconds or less. The water must get from the pump to the tank via a very heavy 10 inch diameter hose. What about irrigation pipe? Didn't we talk about irrigation pipe? Like it's really light, I could lift a length this long? How are you going to hold it on there? I would consider that solving the problem of holding it on there vastly simpler than lifting a 500 pound sweaty donkey Tensions are going to run high, claws are going to come out, steam is going to come out of ears. Worldwide wrestling of nerds. Oh, it's great. Look at that. Adam, you should probably not stand underneath that right now. I'm not sure why, but... Our first task is to hook up the pump to the big hose and try to fill the tank and see how fast it goes. If we get it going really quickly and it fills up according to the specs on the real device, on the real firefighting device, then we know that we're going to have a valid test here, even if we're in the ballpark. And, and for all we know, it may actually outperform the real one. As Adam hangs off the end of the forklift boom, build team member Tori makes a shocking discovery. Warning, do not lift personnel. Do not use boom or attachment for lifting personnel. Lifting personnel may result in death or serious injury. It's the Mythbuster way. Adam ties the pipe to the tank, but how's he gonna get down from there? Time to find out if the Mythbusters pump will measure up to the helicopter original. Ready? Go for it. They need to fill this 2,000 gallon tank in under 45 seconds but the effort of pushing the water up the extra 15 feet is too much for the outboard. Keep it up, keep it up, hold it back, come on, come on! What happened? She died. So where were we? That was 18 seconds it got halfway there. That's way ahead of 3,000 gallons per minute. We totally beat 3,000 gallons a minute. <laughs> Who's gonna do it in like 30 seconds? A quick test to check yeah. that the outboard is okay. All right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think that's good. Ooh, God, this is good feeling. Yeah, that's why you... The tank and hose are removed, and Buster steps up to the plate. We know our pump is at least as strong as the Ericsson air crane. But can either of them suck a scuba diver out of the water and hold him long enough to get to a forest fire? Let's find out. Adam pushes Buster toward the intake funnel, but there seems to be no suction. I got him right up under that thing, under its full pressure. He like, lazily delayed a little bit and then sunk right back down. There was just not enough suction to hold him. I mean, his tank was in the way, everything was in the way. That was a lot of water coming out the other end, though. And I have to tell you, if you were a diver and you heard that sound... <laughs> you'd go in the other direction. I you? think you'd go in the other direction, because <laughs> I can hear it very clearly under there, and it sounds like a bad thing. But the Mythbusters are determined to see Buster firmly attached to that pump. The funnel and guard are removed from the pipe, and Buster is stripped of his tank. So pulling off the cowling, 
and we're gonna try them right on the end of the pipe. That's the worst case scenario. They don't run those machines like that, but that's what we're gonna try and see if there's enough suction at all. Is Buster about to make the ultimate Mythbusters sacrifice? Buster is held fast. Maybe the myth is no myth. But as soon as he breaks the surface, the pump sucks air and revs dangerously. Was there a failure of the machine? Negative, I was stopping it from over revving. Without the pressure of the water, the pump's motor would over rev and disintegrate. But an exploding outboard holds no fear for the Mythbusters. They want to try again. a shove. The pump sucks, but only till the battered dummy breaks the surface. That is so busted! <laughs> it pulled him up out of the water a little bit. A little bit short of a forest fire. Well, that's gotta suck. I'm glad I didn't try it. Ah. There's pieces of his wetsuit all over the pool. Well, that's a hell of a hickey he's got going there. I have to say, the, the amount of suction under the pool was actually pretty impressive. I'm looking up in the mouth of this just like satanic swirling thing of death, and I just kind of got him near it, and he went poof, poof, like this. I mean, it was just like a you know magnet. It was incredible. There's no way that suction's going to carry him above the water. It's going to suck onto him under the water, but once it leaves, that pump needs to be primed the whole time with water, and he'll cavitate it, and he'll just drop off. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I think this ends the debate once and for all. This one's busted. Okay. Thank <laughs> you.